All right, so this is a trade setup we had yesterday. We had we had a uh, falling wedge, which is bullish. A falling wedge is bullish. We have only a couple patterns we look for in the room. A falling wedge is comprised of three lower lower lows, three lower highs. I drew this up in the room yesterday because it's a very bullish pattern in the room. Because if you notice, we had three points of reference, lower highs, one, two, three, three lower lows, one, two, three. So I drew it in the room before it broke out. I drew it right here when price action was at this level. I said if we break outside of that wedge, look for a retest. And I gave you guys a target of 62 yesterday, and she went right to it. So we need to understand these patterns that I give and then retested and it had a nice little move again. The patterns that I, I sent an email to you guys yesterday on the patterns, we look for symmetrical wedges, falling wedges, rising wedges, which are bearish, falling wedges, which are bullish. We look for ascending triangles, descending triangles, and then also bull and bear flags. If they coincide with my market profile, which I did yesterday, you can see my market profile. It's very, very accurate. It actually called the low here this morning off of a two, a three times confluence. Um, but... This is a great to know the patterns if you understand our two setups that we have. Now we have a retracement setup and a momentum setup. So let's go into today's action. Today we've had great Fibonacci retracements here this morning. Now here's how we want to do this. We have a trend chart and those, this video is going to be based upon we have two setups in the trade room. This is going to be our momentum setup. Our momentum setup is very, very simple is we have counter trend traders that come in the market and we have momentum traders that come in the market. If you see that uh, we have three moving averages on the trend chart, if you are above, if price action is above all three moving averages, all three, and you see green candles, remember on my Renko bar, I have the trend filter built in already with this system. So I'm going to put gold and crude next to each other. You can see what I'm talking about. Because gold's in a net downtrend, a hard downtrend. There's gold right beside it. So if I'm a gold trader, then I am in a hard downtrend. I'm only taking sell Fibonacci arrows. If I'm a crude trader this morning, I'm only taking buy arrows, meaning buy Fibonacci arrows. Now notice the difference in both markets. I got gold to my left trading live right now. And I've got all red candles. That tells me that they're trying to mark the market down or I'm in a downtrend. I need to be a sellers or shorting only. You do not buy in this case. If you try to buy like this, you're probably going to get stopped out the majority of trades. Vice versa, in crude, I have all green candles above all three moving averages. I do not want to sell or short any crude contracts at all, or I'm going against the trend of the market. So how can I get in the market then and try to play the overall swing in the market with the system? If I'm a crude trader, this is a momentum trade because if they're all green candles, it tells me one thing. I can only be a net buyer, and I can only look for Fibonacci arrow green arrows. The best way to trade a momentum chart is this. Look to the far right chart. Now, our templates are made up for all your computers. They look like this. The first Fibonacci charts to your right of the trend chart. This is called a retracement trade. I'll go over that in a second on, on the next video. Sorry. That's a retracement trade. The next chart to your right is called a momentum trade setup. That's when all the contracts, I mean, that's when all the, the trend filters all green candle. If it's all green candle, we want to look to buy retracements using my, moment, my momentum chart. This is very simple. It's not hard to understand. My momentum chart right here, we got three buy signals since 6.30 this morning. One called the low, two called the low, three called the low. It is now three for three using the momentum chart because you never had any other way of getting in the market without momentum trading. We've never had a retracement trade because a retracement trade is when we get an opposite color candles that come in against the trend filter trend, there's red, then we try to buy the low. The next video, I'll show you how to get these lows like this, this low and this low. We did it yesterday after crude oil inventories. It touched right on the low and exploded. It's a great trade. So these are retracement trades, but when it's all green, it's called momentum trades. 
So if I'm a trader and I see and I log in and I, I log in, let's say it's 7.30 or 7 o'clock in the morning and I log in and here I hear 6.30 and I see all green candles, all green candles, I'm above all three moving averages, I must be a momentum trader, not a retracement trader. So what I do is I look at my far right Fibonacci chart. As soon as these green arrows form, they will, they will form at the close of that bar. And the beautiful thing about that combination, I always tell traders, look for a vertical bar with the arrow. <clears throat> that vertical bar is an indecision bar where the buyers are equalized, the sellers are equalizing, are equal to the buyers. So that's an indecision bar with the arrow. Look at the vertical bar in all three of these. So if you're a crude trader, you had three chances. It's three for three this morning using the momentum setup. Well, what if I'm a gold trader? Well, gold's a net downtrend, right? I, the only retracement trade I had right here that caught the counter trend traders is the offset color candle. And sure enough, my, I'll show you here in a second, my Fibonacci arrow on my retracement chart caught that high. I'll show you that in a second. But if it's all red, you can't trade a retracement trade off the next chart to your right. You trade the far right chart. So if I bring over the far right chart on gold, let's take a look at it. Do I get any Fibonacci arrow cells? There they are. Look how gorgeous that is. Every single one of these were swing highs in the market. It just caught one right there also. Did it have a vertical bar with it? Vertical bar meaning indecision in buyers and sellers with an arrow that printed at the close of this bar. This last trade is a viable setup. Why? Because I'm all red on the trend filter. This is how you trade momentum setups. Right? Now, if I trade a retracement setup, let's look at this green bar that formed over here. If I trade a retracement setup, Right, first, these are all momentum setups. Look at this. All since midnight. Momentum, 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 momentum. What if I had a retracement? What if I had an offset color candle that formed, which it did here on, on gold? Then I look at the chart next to it, and I try to do what? I try to look at this chart then, my retracement chart. Check this out. The retracement chart is a chart right next to the trend chart. I have symmetry dots on there. Now the sim dots you can put on your own charts. It's a one-time license, uh, license, uh, one-time lifetime fee of 297 for life, and you get this natural support and resistance. If it comes within two ticks of these sim dots, I have a retracement trade. And if the arrow forms a negative market delta, you can pop in the trade. So look, look at the cool thing about the system. Then is that I only have two setups. I got the green, the red bar, or green bar that printed that tells me that I'm catching the wrongly positioned traders. Those are counter trend traders against trend filter trend. It's against the moving average trend. So what I want to do is I want to look for a retracement within two ticks of those sim dots. Look for a fib arrow to fire, caught that exact high. Then if it's all red, you don't look at this chart no more. You look at my momentum chart. My momentum chart is different because it's a smaller time frame. I'm trying to get the momentum of the market on my fib arrows. There they are. Look how they caught the highs on the way down. That's a huge trade, 95 all the way down past 90. That's a $500 trade risking $110. That's a 5 to 1 reward to risk on momentum trades. Momentum trades are fast and furious, and they can be very, very, very profitable with small stops. You have to understand, though, is you have to go with the trend of the trend filter. And that's it. We use this Fibonacci chart on the template, just like crude, to the far right. If you're in a hard downtrend or uptrend. So if I look at crude again and gold, if I put these beside each other again, get these out of the way. It's not hard. Two setups every single day in the markets. Now I have an algo that looks at these trades already that caught these trades this morning that I'll be putting in the room to make sure to confirm your entries. But notice, that's a downtrend. Keep it simple. Do the KISS method. That's a downtrend. Be a net seller. This is an uptrend. Be a net buyer. So if I'm all green, I'm trading off the momentum chart. If I'm all red, I'm trading off the momentum chart on gold. Okay? That's as simple as you can make it. So go over to gold real quick, Gerald. Switch over to gold. I want to show them real quick how they look beside each other. Go to gold real quick. Go over to gold, Gerald, real quick. All right, if you look at gold, you, you didn't shut it off yet, did you? Are we still rolling? Okay, gold. So 
this is what I'm talking about. Here's our trend chart. Check it out. That's our trend chart since midnight. Right there. That's our trend chart. This is a retracement trade. That's where you catch a counter trend traders. That's a retracement trade. So if I see a green candle that forms like that on gold, I look to the next chart next to me called the retracement chart. That's my retracement trade. It's got to be within a couple ticks of symmetry dots. Arrow caught the high. So if you're trading gold this morning, you couldn't screw it up even if you tried if you use the two setups I teach you how to do because the retracement setup is one for one this morning. If you use the momentum setups, look at all these signals here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades in a row. Eight if you catch this one. Eight trades in a row on momentum because I'm going with the trend, overall trend of the market. Why does this work so well? How does this work so well every day in the markets? Because I'm using a large Rinko bar that has a trend filter built in. This is not a standard Rinko bar. Rinko bars fail. They're absolutely worthless, the standard Rinko bar. They're not very good. But what I did is I built in a trend filter. I think I'm the only one that ever, ever built a Rinko bar that has a trend filter built into it. Because now I can read the market right away. I know if it closes green, the trend filter is built in. Those are counter trend traders. I want to look for a retracement trade off of this chart. If it's all red, the heck with this chart. I'm going to go over here to my momentum chart and try to sell to barrels. Gerald rolled a crude real quick, and we'll shut this off. Rolled a crude. So if I look at crude then, if I look at crude, if I'm all green right here, then what do I do? There's your arrows. So when these arrows form, and they form, and an arrow forms right there, then you can place an entry. Stop loss, two ticks below the swing low on each one of these. You never got stopped out, and there you go. You can confirm with market delta below the order and balance between the bid and the ask. And they can scale with my SIM dots on the way up. That's how you trade momentum versus retracement trading.